Hi folks, today we're gonna be testing out some outdoor gear here in my backwoods playground, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around. About a month, month and a half ago, roughly, time passes by so quick. I did a quick, like, sneak peek overview video of the Stroop Knives Mountain Predator. Now, this is a collaboration with EJ Snyder. He helped design this blade over at Stroop Knives. And EJ sent it to me, wanted me to test it out in a real world environment. So I did the sneak peek video, showed you up close and personal, a little bit of backstory of the company, of the thought process that went into this blade. I'll leave links in the video description below to that video. But today, we're out here to work this blade. EJ, when he got a hold of me, he says, John, I want you to work this blade like crazy. So guess what? Challenge accepted. First, what we're gonna do is cut away. I'll do a quick specs rundown of this blade, show you up close the ins and outs. Then we'll get out here the best we can and work this blade over. And as always, we'll bring it back 360 for some final thoughts. Folks, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm outdoors in my backyard playground. You're with me. The video starts now.
still straight. All right, folks, let's do this. As you guys can see, I'm excited. I'm pumped. One, to be able to get out in the woods. I've been wanting to do this video for probably a month, but weather didn't cooperate. High winds didn't cooperate. Maybe it was just meant to be. Today, all the stars aligned. I was able to come out here and just work this knife and just have a lot of fun. Now, when EJ uh, sent this knife to me, he said, John, I want you to work this blade. I want you to show folks the functionality and the durability of this blade. Hopefully in this video, we had a chance to do that. Let's break it down. First off, let's start with the sheath. You have your standard Kydex taco style sheath. It just plain works. It fits in there really nice and secure. As you guys can hear it, lock in. So you're getting protection all the way around. You have a tech lock. You guys know I am a fan of tech locks. I like them just for adjustability. You're able to adjust that tech lock to your needs. If you're right carry, left carry, if you're cross draw, you're able to do a lot of different stuff. You have molly rigging, you wanna put that on, boom. Katie bar the door. You're able to do everything with a tech lock. That's why I'm a huge fan of them. Now, enough about the sheath. You guys wanna talk about the blade. First off, design. Stroop Knives, family owned, veteran owned business. Just awesome looking collaboration with EJ on this blade. I like the fact that it looks like mountains and the functionality. If you're batoning, I'm not a fan of batoning. I don't like to do it in my videos. Shame on me, but I just don't like batoning. But if you're a fan of batoning, hey, you have multiple strike points to be able to hit on this blade. Now, up front, we had a little bit of steel that has a 90 degree spine. And on my resurrected bushcraft table that has survived fires out here and just craziness, we were out there striking a ferro rod with it. Also, I was stabbing the table hard, prying it. Worst thing you possibly do, because you could possibly break the tip on a blade it survived it, no problem at all. Chopping test, chop through that rope. That's a good test that I like to show you folks. One, edge durability. How does that edge gonna hold up? If I'm chopping that thick piece of rope and the end's frayed, well, obviously you probably rolled an edge on that cutting edge of the blade. Worked fine. I, I was really pleased with that. I've been playing around with this blade at the house for over a month just using the heck out of this blade as much as I can so I could convey my thoughts to you guys on this blade. And it's just working. Now you guys know that any blade where it's gonna maximize is cutting. But when you're doing that push cut, especially through that leather, that's where you're gonna be able to tell if that edge is rolled, if you have good uh, edge retention on the steel. And it's a testament also to the heat treat. So the heat treat on this blade, stabbing it into the top of my bushcraft table and also whew, stabbing it into that tree and standing on it. And if there's kids out there and adults, please don't do that at home. Don't copy me at all. This is my PSA. You can get seriously hurt doing that, but I do that out here as a professional gear tester because I wanna see the durability of this blade. I wanna know if the products are gonna hold up. I don't want you to invest money, go out in the woods, and then you have a catastrophic failure and it doesn't work when your life depends on it. So putting that into the log, pounding on it, standing on it, buck 95 a couple times, right foot, left foot, and the main thing, it's straight as an arrow. That is a testament to the heat treat of this blade. You want a blade that's gonna be able to flex a little bit. If the heat treat and it's too hard, just gonna snap. And you don't want that. You want a blade that's gonna be able to flex. And that's what we had with this. Came right back, true to center, perfect. Now, let's talk about some of the specs on this blade. Made out of 1095, high carbon steel, quarter inch of steel. But I think the way that they have this with this uh, high saber grind on here. 
it takes out enough material where it's well balanced blade. Now you have an overall length of 13 and a half inches. The blade length is eight inches on here. EJ is a larger than life guy. So when he's doing the collab, why not have a larger than life knife? And this is a version of a buoy knife. And I just love the fact that he takes a old school historical design and brings it up to modern times. Next, let's talk about the handle. Because I previously released like a sneak peek video and folks had comments about the handle. John, is there gonna be hot spots? How does the handle feel? My personal opinion is the handle is the most important part of a knife. If you don't get the handle right and it doesn't feel good in your hand, you're not gonna use it or you're gonna misuse it and get hurt. This handle, I can honestly say that I had no hot spots. The way that the uh, canvas micarta is scalloped out, it fits perfect and it indexes all my fingers. So whether you're right or left-handed, if you're carrying in multiple different configurations, I had no problem at all with the handle scales on this blade. Now, you have a OD green, black looking canvas micarta, just beautiful. I think it's a nice compliment to this sort of hammer forged 1095 steel. It just gives it that frontier primitive look. Now, speaking of that, going to the pommel. Has a nice angled pommel with a lanyard hole in there. Now, you guys saw me breaking up pine cones to make some duff, make some tinder, made quick work out of that. Also, has nice edges on the pommel, so if you need to hammer something in, in that utility type aspect, this is definitely going to do that. Let's uh, do a quick rundown. First off, design. Buoy design that has been brought up to modern times. I really like that, that mountain peak look. The hammer forge on there just looks really nice. Thumbs up. Saber grind that the heat treat was perfect. You guys saw me stand on it and my wife freaks out. So don't tell her every time I do that, she goes crazy because she's afraid I'm gonna get hurt. But like I said, I do that so you guys can see the durability of this blade. Definitely thumbs up. Edge retention, that's why I cut the rope. That's why I cut the leather. So you guys can see that it's gonna hold an edge after all the stuff that we do with it. Feather sticking, worked great. Stabbing it into, God forbid, my poor bushcraft table and just digging out pieces. That's The tip on there just stayed perfect. Still straight as an arrow, thumbs up. Looks of the scales, beautiful, thumbs up. Overall, fit, finish, feel, durability, usability. I have to give it a thumbs up. Folks, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna leave links in a video description down below if you are interested in getting one of these knives for your collection over on EJ Snyder's website. He's totally redone it. It's an awesome website. He's got a shop over there. You can purchase this blade. Also, he has uh, survival videos. He's got a whole like masterclass of videos over there. So I highly suggest you go over to EJ's channel, links down below, check it out. Shout out to Stroop Knives as well. Veteran owned, family run company. You guys know that I love small cottage industry businesses. They are the lifeblood of this nation and we need them now more than ever. Stroop Knives, you guys did an awesome job on this blade. I'll leave links to Stroop as well. Folks, there's nothing more to tell, this is a wrap. I thank you so much for watching this video and folks, I'll see you on the next one. Now, I'm gonna get out here and play a little bit. Take care.